Welcome to this short video designed to help you better understand defensive shots. The APA official team manual defines defensive shot as a shot where the shooter deliberately misses so as to pass his turn at the table to his opponent. Simply stated, a defensive shot is a shot where there is no intent by a player to pocket a ball of his category. Intent is the key word. Think of it this way, anytime you are not playing offense, you are playing defense. If you are trying to pocket your object ball, you are playing offense. Any other shot is a defensive shot and should be marked as such on the score sheet. Defensive shots fall into two basic categories. The first category is safeties. A safety is defensive action taken when a player has no makeable or high percentage shot or chooses to leave his opponent in a difficult situation. Safeties are perfectly ethical, but are intentional misses nevertheless. The second category is intentionally missed shots for the purpose of manipulating one's handicap, also referred to as sandbagging. <coughs> Players with integrity call all safeties and intentionally missed shots. APA co-founder Terry Bell, a professional pool player and creator of the Equalizer Handicap System, will help us better understand defensive shots by demonstrating some examples. Hello everyone. I'd like to take a few moments to talk to you about uh, defensive shots. You know, there's a, a section on your score sheet uh, where you mark uh, defensive shots and uh, all through the years there have been uh, misund common misunderstandings about defensive shots. What is a defensive shot? and what is not a defensive shot. The key uh, word, uh, I believe, is the word intent. Your opponent either intended to keep shooting or intended to pass his or her turn on to you. And I'm going to show you a few examples. Now, certainly there's some judgment here, and it's true that the score sheets, when they get turned in, might vary. That's why we like for both teams to turn in a score sheet. But nevertheless, uh, if it is your judgment that your opponent was not intending to uh, keep his or her turn at the table, then you should mark the shot. Now, I'm going to give you a few examples of what should be or should not be a defensive shot. Example 1. Terry is shooting at the 8 ball to win the game. This first example is there is no argument this is a defensive shot. Obviously, I can't even touch the cue ball with the eight, probably without scratching, which would be loss of game, so I'm simply going to hand my opponent the cue ball. This is a no-brainer defensive shot. Example two. Terry is solids and is shooting at the two ball. In this particular example, I'm going to shoot this two different ways. Now remember, defensive shots are perfectly ethical. We encourage all APA members to learn how to play safe. It's part of the game. So I'm going to shoot this two different ways. The first one is an obvious safety or defensive shot. I would actually, it would be proper for me to actually turn to my opponent and say, please mark a defensive shot because that's what it, that's what it was. Now putting the ball back approximately where it was, if I shot it this way, trying to bring the cue ball back behind the eight, and then claiming that I was trying to make the two. Well, if I were to have succeeded and put the cue right behind the eight, again, this is a judgment call. I can sit there and tell you all I want. I was trying to make the two, but you have the right to make the judgment that I was playing safe back behind this ball. And that's why sometimes the score sheets don't agree and there's a judgment. But in this particular case, if I drew it, put, stuck it back behind the eight ball, trying to block your balls, then that should be marked as a defensive shot. Example three. Terry is solids and is shooting at the two ball. In this example, I have the low balls, the two, and I'm blocked by the nine and the 13. If I shoot it this way, 
that should not be marked as a defensive shot because I did shoot it hard enough to make it and I was hoping I might make it somewhere. That should not be marked as a defensive shot. On the other hand, if I shoot it like this, there's no way I shot that ball hard enough to make the two ball anywhere and therefore that would be marked as a defensive shot. Example 4 Terry is stripes and is shooting at the nine ball. Here's another example. I'm going to shoot this two different ways as well. The first way I shoot this is going to be at obvious safety. No intent to pocket the ball. But one thing about safeties is sometimes they're not always easy. Sometimes people attempt a safety and don't execute it properly. Let's say, for example, on the same shot that it went off this way. Now, I left my opponent perfectly easy, but is this a defensive shot? Yes, it is, because I still made no in intent. There was no intent on my part to continue my turn at the table. So even though I might have sold the game out and I'm going to lose the game, it still gets marked as a defensive shot. Example 5. Terry is solids and is shooting at the two ball. This is a more complex example, but it's important that scorekeepers and captains and players understand that there's a judgment to be made. <clears throat> I'm shooting the low balls. That's my last one on the table. If I were to try to bank the ball up here and I missed it, but I said, wait a minute, I was trying to make it. Here's where the judgment comes in. If I'm a two or a three, I wouldn't mark that as a defensive shot because twos and threes don't, don't, may not pull that shot off and they were trying to make it. But if I was a six or a seven or a five maybe, I would call that a defensive shot and here's the reason why. Any six or seven, if they were going to shoot this shot, they would attempt to get the cue ball back here for the eight. They wouldn't leave the cue ball down there. And that would be what I would call an intentional miss, <clears throat> which would be marked as a defensive shot because the shot should look like this from a six or a seven. Notice that the cue ball is coming down here for the eight. Therefore, this would, of course, not be a defensive shot. This player was trying to make the two and trying to keep his turn going, his or her turn going, by getting position on the eight. It's a judgment call. Everybody has to understand that marking defensive shots oftentimes calls for judgment. We encourage the scorekeepers and the, and the team captains and the better players on each team to be able to make these judgments fairly. Example 6. Terry is stripes and is shooting at the nine ball. In this example, I want to demonstrate that you don't have to have any particular ball in mind in order for a, a shot not to be considered a defensive shot. Sometimes it's, it, it makes sense to hit the balls fairly hard and you're just playing percentages that something might go in. So in this particular case, if I hit the balls firmly like that, hoping that something would go in, even if they didn't go in, my intent was to try to get fortunate, whatever. I was trying to keep my turn at the table, so therefore that would not be a defensive shot. Example 7. Terry is solids and is shooting at the two ball. In this example, I'm shooting the low balls and there's not enough room for the two ball to go by the 15. So I'm trying to block the 15 ball so my opponent can't make it. That's a defensive shot. Now your opponent may try to claim 
that he was trying to make the ball and there's room, and that's where a judgment call comes in. Mark the defensive shot or don't mark the defensive shot, your call. Example 8. Terry is stripes and is shooting at the 10 ball. I cannot complete this discussion about defensive shots without mentioning the ugly word sandbagging. Every sport with a handicap system faces the possibility of people manipulating their handicaps. Occasionally it might, this is, this is unethical, we really don't want players to do this. Sometimes a player might get ahead of their opponent and then decide to run up some innings. Well, if you are vigilant and you mark each one of these as defensive shots, it's not going to do that player any good. It might look like this, say a pretty good player is ahead uh, four to nothing, and he has a shot like this on the, on the 10 ball, and he gives it this move. and says, oops, I missed. Now, this is a very good player. Didn't even try to play position on the eight ball. It was an obvious miss on purpose to run up innings. Mark it as a defensive shot. You might even make a comment on the back of the score sheet. Uh, APA and all the, local, all the managers and league operators throughout the country uh, do not like uh, this type of activity at all. It's uh, absolutely frowned upon and could result in other types of, uh, uh, other types of penalties. Example 9. In this example, Terry is playing 9 ball and is shooting at the 1 ball. I want to quickly set up a, uh, an example here involving 9 ball. Safeties in 9 ball should be spotted just as easily as safeties in, uh, in, in 8 ball. Probably the, the, the greatest distinction will be, did the player try to go to the next ball? In other words, if a player was trying to run up their innings, they would miss a ball, but even if they said they were trying to make it, if they weren't trying to get on the next ball, then it was an obvious uh, safety. Again, you have to take into consideration skill levels. I'll shoot this two different ways. I'm going to try to make the one ball back here. If I shot it this way, obviously I made no intention, no intent for the cue ball to come around for the two. And that's why that would be called a defensive shot. I'm just running up my innings. Any player five, five skill level or above, when they shot this one ball, would make it look a little bit more like this. Whether they made it or not, they would be trying to bring the cue ball over here for the two. So uh, if they don't try to get on the next ball, then that's a safety. And that's how you're going to spot safeties in nine ball. It's a little bit differently than eight ball. Here are a few key things to keep in mind when considering defensive shots. A defensive shot is a shot where the shooter deliberately misses so as to pass his turn at the table to his opponent. A defensive shot is a shot where there is no intent by a player to pocket a ball of his category. Anytime you are not playing offense, you are playing defense. Players with integrity call all safeties and intentionally missed shots. Marking defensive shots both consistently and correctly ensures the effectiveness of the equalizer scoring and handicap system. By carefully marking defensive shots, you are not only keeping score properly, you are also helping to ensure the accuracy of the skill levels of the other players in your division. The failure to mark defensive shots allows players and teams to advance with inaccurate skill levels. In closing, the uniform marking of defensive shots in the APA system is very important. To a certain extent, the handicap is based on the number of turns on the average it takes people to win games. And therefore, as I said, the uniform marking of defensive shots is very important. Uh, if you're in your particular area, if people aren't marking them properly, it may not affect you on the local level, but wait until someone on your team goes to the higher level singles championships or your team goes to the team championships. When your handicaps are reviewed at the national office, 
if there are irregularities in the, def in the marking of defensive shots, your team could be arbitrarily raised, which could affect you for 23 rule purposes. In the, in the final analysis, it's up to every player to be honest and just ignore the, the fact that the equalizer handicapping system exists. If you play a defensive shot, turn to your opponent and say that was a defensive shot. If every APA player did that, we wouldn't have any problems. So play pool, have fun, and I'll see you in Vegas. Thank <laughs> you.